Alrighty, so today we're gonna be doing another rebuild. This time we're doing it a little bit differently. We can't do any free agency moves. We can't use any draft picks. And the only way we can improve this team is through this beautiful button right here, this square button, the trade finder, trade suggestion button, whatever you wanna call it. But that's the only way we can make trades through the trade finder. So rather than me finessing the CPU with the trades, I can't do that anymore. I got to use the trade finder feature. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, like button down below, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see as well as other content you would like to see. It doesn't have to be MLB related. It can be other games or videos that you would like to see. Other than that, guys, if you guys need tickets for anything, concerts, games, whatever it is at SeatGeek at checkout, use the code ANTORTEEZ and get $20 off your purchase. That's about it, guys. Let's hop into this rebuild. We're going to use the Giants, a team that's gonna be difficult with this trade finder feature so let's hop into it let's have some fun Alrighty, so i gotta show you the settings so you guys know i'm not cheating because there's always someone in the comment section who accuses me of cheating i don't know why but here's the settings roster i'm using is writing rosters boom 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 on screen there you go ignore budgets is off force trades is off we're gonna control everything so like i said guys no free agency no draft picks the only way we can improve this team is through the beautiful feature that you see at the bottom suggest trades and so if i want to put a player in i gotta go boom prospects mlb whatever it is i want it all and this is the only way we can find trades just searching through all these different options to find a trade so we'll have to wait and see what we do but let's take a look up at this roster really quick so johnny cueto's in triple a probably a player i'm going to look to trade anyways um sean anderson tyler Beatty, they're okay not really key players though same with jeff smarja Two years, I know he's going to decrease in rating, so he's probably going to be another player I look to move. I don't really know what we're going to get for him, but um, Bumgarner and Pudge's son, Derek Rodriguez, are probably going to be the two players I want to build this rotation around. Relief pitching, Trevor Gott's usually okay for a season or two, so we'll see how he does. Reyes Maranta usually develops around season two, season three, and then outside of that, we're a little weak in the bullpen area. Will Smith is definitely a player I want to keep. I don't want to trade him. I want to keep him. One of the better closers in the game. Buster Posey, he's not terrible. His contract's kind of a, a pain. Um, I wish Joey Bart was a little bit higher rated so we get him involved, but we'll have to wait and see. Brandon Belt, probably a player I'm going to look to trade. Definitely could probably get something from him. Scooter Jeanette's kind of got a, a, a big contract, and we already have some big contracts on the roster, so we'll have to work around that. Joe Panic is actually not part of the squad anymore, so what we'll do is we'll just release him. Um... Evan Longoria, Pablo Sandoval, probably going to trade. Brandon Crawford, we'll see how he does. Yastrzemski is doing really good in real life. We'll keep him, see how he does. He might be a little bit of a beast. Pilar, we'll see how he does. And then Dickerson, we'll probably need a new right fielder. Because Steven Duggars, it's just not panning out. I'm sorry, Giants fans. I think it's time to move on from him. So when we look at the budget, you guys can see we're under a million in cash flow that we can work with. So we definitely need to open up some space. On top of that, we need to re-sign Bumgarner and Will Smith. So we're going to have to find a way to open up a lot of cap space. Yeah. So let's get let's get to work with that special little square button on the controller and do some trades. Alrighty, so our first trade is going to be with the White Sox. Kelvin Herrera, Ivan Nova, and Lurie Garcia. The main piece I want for this one is Kelvin Herrera, a good little reliever for at least one year. Um, we can always try to move him in the second season or if he doesn't really pan out. Um, for Johnny Cueto. Um, we're opening up a little bit of salary cap as well for us, so it's not a bad deal to do. Alrighty, so this, nope, this one. This is the one that I'm not really sold on, but I'm looking at all the other deals, and there really aren't too many that I'm like, ooh, this is a good deal for us. This is a really good deal for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Twins deal, Kyle Gibson and Ronald Torres. We get that bench bat in Torres. We get a new starting pitcher in Gibson. It's, it's not amazing, and I looked around, and I was like, man, there's got to be a better deal that we could take. Colin McHugh is not a bad one, but I don't want the contract of Yuli Gurriel. Um, and then I've, I've looked at every other deal, and there's just there's just nothing that really, really helps us out in the long run. This one's not terrible either. A good power bat with Eric Thames, Drew Pomeranz, Aaron Perez. But like outside of that, I think we got to take the, the deal for this one right here. All right, so I decided to package Steven Duggar and Alex Dickerson together. Um, Hunter Renfro is a very tempting option. Along with this one, this is a really tempting option too. Um, there's actually a lot of good trades in this one. Um, but another one that really caught my eye because I was like, ooh, 
this one could actually really help us out. Whit Merrifield. We are taking on a little bit more in contract, but Whit Merrifield, it gives us a leadoff hitter. It gives us a good second baseman or right fielder for the future. Doesn't really matter. He's only 30, so he should hold on to his rating for the next couple seasons. I like this deal a lot. Alrighty, because I am looking to move Evan Longoria and probably Brandon Belt too. I thought about this one. I was like, ooh, DJ LeMahieu, that's a good third baseman. That's a good potential first baseman. But then I saw this one. Miguel Andujar is a little bit younger. Um, it allows us a little bit of space to work with um, financially as well. It's just Randall Delgado is not really a player I want. Um, this one isn't bad either. Brandon Lau usually develops quite well. It's just do I don't know if he can play third base. Um, so that's kind of an issue. Um, ooh, time out. I didn't even realize this one. This is the deal 100%. We're getting Jose Ramirez. That's the deal for sure. Not even going to look at any others. Marco Luciano and Evan Longoria are making way for Jose Ramirez. Alrighty, this is a no-brainer for me. Um, I have actually haven't even looked at many other offers out of this deal just for Brandon Belt. I wasn't expecting too much out of it. Um, and looking at the rest, I know I'm going kind of quick, but I can kind of see everybody um, that's being offered. Robel Garcia is not bad. Um, but outside of that, I'm not really liking any of these other deals. And the one I just, the one from the Blue Jays just makes the most sense. Derek Law, Justin Smoke, um, a good switch hitting first baseman we can sign for a season or two. And Derek Law usually does well in a sim style franchise. That's a good deal for us. I'm going to take a look at this, the squad just because I kind of feel like we've made quite a few trades. Um, but I want to see where we're looking at right now. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it there for season one. The team's not bad. It's really not. Um, it's it's not amazing starting pitching-wise like Gibson, Nova, Anderson. Um, but we got Rodriguez. We got Bumgarner. Tyler Beattie's going to be our long reliever. Um, we got Watson. Kelvin Herrera is a decent, a decent arm there. Law, Maranta, Gott. Let me... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna leave it like that. We got Maranta, Gott, and then Will Smith. And then when we look at the lineup, I think we definitely made some good improvements there. Merrifield, Jose Ramirez, Buster Posey, Smoke, Jeanette, Pilar, Garcia, Yastrzemski, and then Brandon Crawford. Um, do we have anybody that hits righties really well? Uh, you know what? We'll give Pablo Sandoval a little, a little run in there. And then DH Tyler Austin for the lefty. So overall, I feel like the team has definitely improved. We opened up a little bit more cap space, which is always really good because we need to sign Bumgarner and Will Smith. Overall, let me make sure I didn't cover anything for you guys. I didn't. All right, cool. And then pitching rotation, nothing. All right, good. So overall, I think we improved the team. Are we a playoff team? I think we could push for one this season. Um, but I think with the changes we can make next year and through the trades that we can make from like prospects and stuff, um, I think we'll be really good. So this is the team for season one. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. All right, so you remember how I said we may be a team that makes the playoffs? Just maybe. I wasn't really sure about it. I thought maybe we could push maybe for a wild card spot, but uh, I'm sorry, what? 101 and 61? We won the division taking on the Reds. Um, what is this team? Whit Merrifield had the most hits. Um, it looks like he was probably a really good addition to the team. Jose Ramirez, I saw, was up there for something too. Mike Yastrzemski was rookie of the year and then a gold glove award for Derek Rodriguez. So you guys can see uh, home runs. Jose Ramirez had 46. Looks like he was a good little addition. So um, I moved myself down here because I knew I had to move myself for simming and then for trades. It probably works a little bit better. So Bumgarner, very good year. You guys can see his stats are just above my head. Good ERA, good whip. Wins and losses, I'm not really going to worry about it. He had a really good year. And we re-signed him so we don't have to worry. So we didn't have to lose him during um, free agency. So contracts-wise, Derek Rodriguez, probably a player we like we can re-sign it's just we can't sign anybody in free agency so if you you know we can't agree a deal with him we're kind of stuck but he had a great year low whip good era i love to see that um kyle gibson wasn't amazing but i wasn't really expecting much he's probably a player we're gonna let walk and then we'll just try to trade for somebody else ivan nova wasn't terrible you know what one of his best years, um, I know I'm covering it, but it says like a 4.19 ERA, a 4.14 ERA, and a 4.17 with whips all above 1.2. He had one of his, like this is a career year for him. Um, Sean Anderson was okay. Tyler Beatty, okay. You might be our long reliever for sure. Um, Tony Watson had a decent year. Um, 
He was a player I wasn't sure on bringing back. I probably won't now. Kelvin Herrera was good. Derek Law struggled, which is weird because at the all the trade deadline he had like a 3-3 ERA. Oh man, that sucks. Um, Reyes Maranta had a tough second half too. He had like a, a low three ERA. Uh, Trevor got very good, and then Will Smith very good. So overall, pretty happy with the way the pitching went. Let's take a look at our bench really quick. Lurie Garcia was not bad. He might be a player we bring back as a bench bat. Um, Tyler Austin wasn't terrible, and neither was Ronald Torres. Um, I know we had Mike Freeman here um, instead, but I brought up Torres before the season started. You guys can see. Um, he actually had a pretty solid season, was a pretty decent bench bat. Whit Merrifield, so glad we picked him up. What a season, 50 doubles and 38 stolen bases. Jose Ramirez is going to be a great, a great addition to the team. Look at those stats, amazing. Um, Buster Posey was okay, um, 265, 11 home runs though, so not terrible at all. Justin Smoke wasn't bad, considering bringing him back, especially after this season. That was a good one. Scooter Jeanette, we decided to bring back for a couple seasons. You guys can see that. Pretty similar contract as well. Um, 27 doubles, 18 home runs. Average dipped a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Kevin Pillar, we'll probably look to find a new center fielder. Pablo Sandoval, um, I might bring him back just for the memes. He actually wasn't bad um, at all. The rookie of the year, Mike Yastrzemski. Look at those stats. Definitely going to bring him back for that left field spot. And then Brandon Crawford um, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all for Brandon Crawford's standards. Really solid season. Really like that. So pretty pretty happy with the way the team went. Um, we're taking on the Reds here. Let's see how things go. And uh, facing elimination, really, man. Come on. We had two good victories to start the series. And then just what? All right. So um, I'm kind of covering up their team so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move myself to the other side as we speak like so so you guys can kind of see the lineups and everything so boom i'm over here iglesias senzel actually it looks like a standard reds team um so let's let's get this win come on let's not let them get on base there we go scooter Jeanette against your former team one run scores ah, man all right so guy in second can't bring that run in that's that's tough facing Trevor Bauer. It's gonna be a good matchup That's a good start. Maybe anything come on Six innings and it's just a one-run game. Come on guys. We got to do something here Buster Posey double play really All right Bumgarner's done Single fly out strikeout. Yeah, we got to take him out. Unfortunately. I know he's pitching really well, but We just we just can't afford you know, to lose the game at this point of the game, like just because, come on, there we go. Just can't lose it because we let someone pitch a little bit too long. So we got two innings to walk it off here. Can we do it? It all comes down to this. That's not good. Oh, for look at the top half of our lineup. I mean, Look at this. We win 6-2, 7-5, and then 2-1, two 2-5, to one, two to five, and 0-1. to one. Look at, like, we started off 13 runs in two games, and then we scored five. No, three, the next three. Just, and when you look at, you saw the top half of our lineup. Man, that was bad. I think up until Jeanette, no one had a hit in these first, what, Four batters until Jeanette. So no one had a hit that last game until Jeanette, which is really disappointing. Um, so let's go. Let's just sim to the offseason, see what happens. And then let's get started. The Nationals defeat the Yankees. Okay. Interesting. Um, any retired players? No. Um, so let's take a look at exclusive negotiations. I'm okay with one year. This this isn't technically free agency, guys. This isn't. I mean, like actual free agency. Everybody else, Tyler, Tony Watson. I'm gonna let Tony Watson walk. Um, I think we can get another lefty in the bullpen. Um, just just as good with some of our um, bench bat, like our our prospects. Pablo Sandoval, we gotta bring back. He had a great year. Holy cow. Um, we gotta bring him back. Other than that, we're gonna let the rest walk. Um, staff, we'll figure out later. So let's get into it and then I'll show you guys the 
Um, no, nobody from 40 man arbitration will definitely just sign everybody back so that we actually have some players in the farm system and stuff like that. And then we're going to give everybody a contract. The free agency I'm talking about is I can't go in here and sign like Rendon, Ozuna or Garrett Cole like that. So, um, you guys have an idea of what the team looks like. You guys can see it here. You guys know who's part of it and you'll notice if there's any new addition. So I'm not cheating. So I'm just going to focus on arbitration and contracts. I'll see you guys at the start of season two. Season two is definitely going to need some changes because when we looked at the lineup, we let a couple players go that I didn't think I was going to let go. Um, and then there were players that I'd let go that I was like, oh yeah, we don't really need them. Um, but let's take a look at the squad. Alrighty. So starting rotation rise, we let Gibson go. We let Nova go. Um, and then we let, who was our fifth starter? I forgot already. That's how bad it was. Um, but basically we didn't, we, we kind of needed, um, actually Sean Anderson was our fifth starter. So BD moved from the bullpen here. Ty block moved from triple a up. Sam Selman was in, um, triple a last year. So basically everything else is the same. Travis Bergen was another triple a arm. So we need, we need a little bit of bullpen help. Um, I don't think Sam Selman is a guy that I want being our long reliever. Um, I'd be cool with letting like Ty Block be that guy um, and then just find a new starter. Maybe let these two kind of battle it out for a spot there. Um, and then everything else is the same here. We let uh, Kevin Pilar go and we brought, we kept Louis Garcia. The thing is, I'm thinking about training for a new center fielder or maybe, I mean, realistically, the team looks really good. Um, I'd be cool just trading for like a new center fielder, maybe, maybe yeah, I would just keep Brandon Crawford. He's not doing terrible at all. Um, our farm system's not amazing. So I definitely think maybe a new center fielder and let Lurie Garcia be that bench bat like he was last year who where he did pretty well. Um, so maybe a new starting pitcher, a new bullpen arm, and then a, st uh, a starting center fielder. And I think that's it for the team. So let's try to find those moves. I really want to see how Lucas Giolito was last year um, because that's, that's a tempting offer. Giolito, Palka, and then Bummer. Another tempting offer is Erman and Jonathan Holder. Both are decent pitching arms. Um, I didn't really see any. There was actually one more. Um, Clevenger of the Indians and Tyler Olsen. Those are, that's a reliever. We need one. And that's a starting pitcher as well. Um, there's, there's, also, there's definitely some other great options throughout this, uh, this trade. This is a really good one too. A, pit, a reliever, a new shortstop, and a second baseman. But I did say I want to keep Brandon Crawford. Um, overall, this is actually a good package deal that I've put together. Um, and there's a, a great amount of options available. Um, I mean, I really couldn't go wrong wherever I went. I, the Cubs deal is pretty bad. But over, like Josh Hader is an option. Um, Frazier Santana is not bad. Crick Tucker is not terrible. De Jong. Um, but I think I'm going to take that. Man, this is a tough one. John Gray's not bad either, but the catcher I don't really need. This isn't a bad deal either. Man, this is a tough one. Um, what I'm gonna do. Ooh, what am I gonna take? What am I gonna take? What am I gonna take? Am I gonna take this one? Am I gonna take this one? I think I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go with the holder deal. Um I do want to get like I do want to go this, but I know Aaron Bummer is just them. We're gonna go. We're gonna take the Holder deal. Herman, Jonathan Holder, and Alex Avila. We get a backup catcher um, for Helio Ramos and Brandon Beachy. All right, so we're actually gonna leave the the center field for a, a later date because I feel like the team's good. We got Crawford, Posey, Lurie Garcia, Torres, Yastrzemski, Smoke, Jeanette, Ramirez, and Merrifield. I mean, I, we also had Slater, who was in AAA last year. I want to give him a shot, see how he does. Tyler Austin, Alex Avila as a backup, Pablo Sandoval. Um, we do have Mauricio Dubon as a possibility being brought up. And then when we look at the pitching rotation, I mean, it looks stronger. Domingo Herman slots in nicely. We got Jonathan Holder there as well. We got two lefties. I kind of like it. I feel like this is okay for now. Um, we sent down Bergen and Selman. Um, definitely need some starters on the other side. But... Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this leaves us the, the option to always trade for a center fielder or make some moves at the deadline. So for season one, I'm pretty happy with the trade finder that we did. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. So at the deadline of season two, you guys can see we're we're about 11 and a half games out. You guys really can't see, but you guys can see we're in second here. 
and when we hop into the wild card spot we do have a wild card spot um but not by much i'll actually show you guys what everything's looking like so 11 and a half there and we hold this spot by a game and a half so let's take a quick little peek at how the team's doing jose ramirez having a down year having a down year disappointing disappointing we got to make sure he gets back up justin smokes having a down year too um but overall i'm i'm happy with the way the lineup's going we definitely could make some additions but i want to wait till next season to really do that i feel like offensively we're we're still pretty strong um but i think maybe the bullpen yeah Derek law is just really not doing too well we might trade him um and jonathan holder man i thought he would have been a little bit better but i want to at least find one bullpen arm so let's try to do that um Derek law is one of those players that just he just needs to go we might package deal with um package deal him with one of these guys down here so let's see what we can find for uh these two guys i'm gonna give jace fry a chance um i know i've given him chances in the past um but i looked at other options here um and there really there really wasn't many bullpen options that i was like oh this is a really good one this is really going to strengthen our bullpen um besides like the normal like dylan floro or um i think adam simber was an option as well kyle bearclaw came up but he doesn't really interest me. Neither does neither does Ryan Stanek or Stecken Ryder. Minter, possibly, but I think I think we're gonna go with Jace Fry. We're gonna give him a shot, see how he does. I'm just gonna show you guys. Trevor Hildenberger is an option. I was just trying to show you guys all of our options. Joe Jimenez is okay, but he never really does well for us. Simber, I feel like we get him too often, so we're gonna go Jace Fry here. I feel like that's a decent little option for us for the bullpen. I think that does give us another lefty though. Um, He's not having the best of years, um, but maybe maybe a change of scenery is what he needs, um, and then maybe he'll get back on track. So we're going to leave it there. Was it the best of trades? Probably not, but we needed something to change. We'll see how that goes. So not as good as last year, like not really that close at all. 90 and 72, we made it as a wild card team. Um, taking on the Nationals, I think it was league leaders. Domingo Herman had the best whip. Um, outside of that, it was okay. Looking at our record, we were 17 out there, and we won the the a wild card spot by two games. Let's take a look at our pitching. Bumgarner's continuing to do well. I love to see that. He he's almost got a little bit better. Um, Derek Rodriguez not as good as last year, but still a very good season. Domingo Herman had. How are you not Cy Young? Those are stupid numbers. Those are unreal. Tyler Beatty, Sean Alexander, not that great. I think these two guys are more suited to this area. Ty Block did quite well. So I think we have like a three-headed race for who's going to be our long reliever next year. Trevor Gott wasn't terrible. He might be another player I bring. Or he actually has a contract for next year. Kelvin Herrera, I'll try to bring him back. He's been very consistent for us. Jace Fry was eh. Holder got better. Okay, that's good to see. He improved. Reyes Maranta's improving in that setup role. I like to see that. He might be that guy there. And then Will Smith was lights out. I mean, he's blown six saves between the two seasons. He had 50 last year, 40 this year. So he's been pretty good. Pretty good. Looking at our bench, Pablo Sandoval's tenure here is probably done, unfortunately. Um, Austin Slater didn't really pan out, but he's 80 overall. So I think he'll be a player who... Could get us some decent trade value. Um, Tyler Austin's been a good bench bat for us. Alex Avila was okay. Whit Merrifield, still a beast. No reason to replace him. Jose Ramirez, I'm gonna give him one more shot. I mean, there's no point in not. He's eight. He's a he's a beast. There's no reason not to give him another season. Scooter Jeanette was good. We have him for another year. Um, Justin Smoke probably won't bring him back, um, but that means we won't be able to get a new for, or we'll have to get a new first baseman. We'll have to see. We have, we do have some trade pieces that could come in handy to get a new first baseman. Yastrzemski's continuing to do well. I don't know why he's going down. Um, Terreras has been a good bench bat for us. We'll probably bring him back as well. Buster Posey, he's okay. You know, definitely not doing too bad. Joey Bart could be our backup for next year. That means we don't have to pay Alex Avila most likely. Yeah, so that that's probably what's going to happen. We, we have the bench bats or the backups. Um, and we'll just keep Posey for the end of this Luri Garcia wasn't as good as last year but um he's not terrible as a bench bat overall it looks like this the offense was a was a, a disappointment this year so what I'm gonna do move myself to the corner of shame <laughs> I'm just kidding um, but we're gonna play this game 
or quick manage this game against the Nationals heading into this game. Scherzer, Bumgarner, what a matchup. Let's take a look, see if we can get started here. Turner, Lorenzo Cain, okay, Anthony Rizzo, Chirinos, some new names for the Nationals. Um, ooh, there we go, Buster Posey. I'm talking, I'm talking kind of trash about him, and he comes in clutch with the two-run double there. Can we get, you know, a little bit more of a lead? Two to one's not safe. As I say that, Victor Robles has accounted for both their runs, both RBIs for the team. Can we keep it going? All right, here we go. Buster Posey. Ooh, that would have been clutch. Would have loved to see him contribute there. Single. Nothing happens. Solo. Carter Keyboom of all people. Buster Posey. Buster Posey's clutch today, man. He is feeling it. Um, he's been pitching so well, but we got to take him out. Um, we're going to go to the lefty Avila. No, we'll go Pablo. We'll go Pablo. Mm, grounds out with single. Come on, come on, come on. We need this here. There we go. Justin Smoke flies out. Man. Um, let's go Kelvin Herrera. Boom. That's what we needed. A walk. Okay. A single Buster Posey. Sack fly maybe. There it is. All right. That, that's the run we need. That was all we needed. We bring in our man Will Smith to shut the door. To shut the door <sighs> always happens doesn't it always happens um, we're gonna go to the righty holder I mean I guess we should have went to another lefty but when you're closer Will Smith blows the game for you <sighs> that's so disappointing to lose that way all right, so we definitely we definitely need to improve the offense. That's going to be my main concern for trades next year. Um, let's go check, take a look at exclusive negotiations. Um, yeah, let's do it. Like, there's no reason not to. And then he wasn't as good, but he's a cheap option off the bench for like. I mean, I guess if we gave him like two years bumped it up a little bit we can, it's not bad and then the rest will let walk i don't know he's been really good first base for us let's just let's give him another year there's no reason not to i think that's good we're gonna leave it there we'll get the staff sorted scooter Jeanette did exercise his option i forgot i gave him the option so i'm glad he did otherwise we've been in a little bit of trouble we're gonna offer all these guys arbitration because they've been really good for us and contracts wise we're going to give everybody contracts and we're going to have to make some trades come next year to really improve this team all right for season three we're making a move for a starting pitcher jordan montgomery i looked at all the other ones that were available Ooh, george springer Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay um all right before i change my taiwan walker is a good little one too um i feel like we just got taiwan walker so we're gonna go jordan montgomery for a starting pitcher um, to strengthen up that core or that rotation, I should say. We'll take a look at how he did last year. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. So that's a good little pickup. And then I feel like our, our our starting rotation is stronger. We definitely want to strengthen this area, our bullpen. And then I really want a center fielder. So let me see if I can find a center fielder for us. All right. I feel like this is too good of a deal to pass up. Um, I know we're giving up a lot, but we're not using any of these players besides Austin Slater. We're going to get Reese Hoskins. Um, and then I'm going to take that deal and I'm going to trade Justin Smoke. And then maybe some other like prospects that we have and see if we can get an actual center fielder now. So let me see if I can figure that one out. All right, we're going to take George Springer of the Astros and Cameron Mabin. I, there's not many other center fielders who are available that we could get. Starling Marte is a possibility. Um, I feel like we got him recently in a rebuild. Beyond Croxton, just not, not my cup of tea. Billy Hamilton, no. So I feel like... Our best option of actually trying to win is taking on George Springer. Um, Cameron Maven is just kind of like an extra at this point for Justin Smoke, Toribio, and Canario. All right, this is how we're going to line up for the final season. I, I like this team. Holy cow, does it look good. Like, it just looks so good. I mean, offensively, it looks super scary. The bench is, you know, the bench is okay. Uh, we get Joey Bart in there. And then when you look at the starting rotation, I mean, look at that. And then our bullpen looks pretty solid. Selman and Block, not the best, or Blatch. Um, they don't look the best, but I feel like this is a, a really good team. 
I like this one a lot. Let's see how this season three plays out. I don't think I'm going to need to make any changes. If I do, it'll probably be for like maybe Selman or somebody. But overall, I'm really psyched about this team that we were put together just from Trade Finder. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. At the deadline, Selman's by far our worst bullpen arm. So we're going to go for Vizcaino, um, one of the better arms that we could trade. We don't really have many like B potential prospects available. So we're kind of we're kind of stuck with what we could work with. Um, so that might be the only move we make. Realistically, our team's looking solid. That really was only the one move I was kind of looking to make. So that's it for season three. Let's see how it plays out. Alrighty, this is our year. I can feel it. Like I'm being serious. This is definitely the season we do it. Look at that record: 102 and 60. Won the division, taking on the winner of the wild card. And then let's take a look. League leaders: Reese Hoskins. It looks like he was a good pickup. And then Bumgarner and Will Smith, both. Who lights out it seems like and then Bumgarner was MVP and obviously Cy Young as well So let's take a look and see lineup and everything Whit Merrifield hit 260 Man, that's disappointing Jose Ramirez hit 240. That's disappointing, too. Oh boy Springer 246, but I mean 28 home runs 83 RBIs. Okay, I can I mean they're still in the 20s for home runs Which isn't bad Reese Hoskins had a killer year 47 home runs 31 rbis 120 rbis 31 doubles 47 home runs 120 rbis just ops of 10 28 unreal scooter Jeanette, great year um rbis weren't there but you know what that's that's a good year um buster posey you know it, his time's running low but he it wasn't terrible um brandon crawford you know, I wanted to keep him around just for the, the nostalgia's sake. Mike Yastrzemski is looking like he's coming down to earth. And then we got Lurie Garcia, who wasn't terrible. 287, not bad at all. Um, why is, uh, I guess Springer was the DH. But when you see our bench, pretty bad. Um, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad indeed. When we take a look at our pitching, though, let's take a look at our bullpen first. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. That's that's amazing. That's really good. That's a really strong bullpen. Eight blown saves. Not a huge fan of that. What happened to our last starter? Was it him? It was him, right? I mean, it looks like we're going four, four for the the season. Uh, Derek Rodriguez looks like he's came back to earth a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with these two. Holy cow, these two are like a scary good one to punch um so it's looking like we're going four for the playoffs um does that mean we get an extra bat is there a different bat we could bring up that might be a little bit better than what we have not really we kind of cleared house on our farm system and everything so going against the dodgers in the playoffs last season come on guys let's not do this Let's not do this. Let's make sure I didn't like, yeah, I didn't cover anything. Whew, I was making sure. So it all comes down to this. I need to move myself in the corner for you guys. We'll do that as we speak. Boom. Look at that. Oh, perfect. And then we're going to let Bumgarner take the mound um, against this team. Hyunjin Ryu's on the mound for them. And we didn't score after a leadoff double. They got Drew Waters in center. I think it's a Braves prospect. Um, Josh Donaldson's new. But other than that, there's a basic, pretty standard lineup. Can we get a sack fly here? We do. That's all I want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play small ball here. We, we're going to need it. Um, so runs runs are going to matter against this Dodgers team. First, like, That's what I'm saying. Look at that. Bumgarner getting us into place to score. Oh, yeah. 2 nothing, And it's gone just like that. Oh, man. Oh, Baumgartner. What's going on, bud? How does that happen? Seven runs. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Like, what? It was, it was our offense all up into, like, every season prior. And then now our pitching lets us down. That's... That's just crazy to think about. Um, we're just going to take him out. We'll go to Trevor Gott. One run scores. Double play. A triple. That's good. Okay. Um, I I can't win. I can't win. 
Um, I mean, when you see this team, you would think these are these are playoff contenders. These are this is a team that like should be winning you games. This is a team that should be pushing for that ALC, that NLCS, not ALCS. This NLCS. We won a hundred games. We are ranked number five in the league. Like we should be winning. We should be going to that NLCS. We should be pushing for that World Series, and unfortunately, we just didn't. Um, man, that's tough. That's really tough. This is a good team, and to think we did it all with the trade finder, only trades, only trade suggestions. That's un. It's just unreal. It's insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content, and comment down below what view, like what future videos you guys want to see. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, the Trade Finder Rebuild. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.